G'day everybody! Welcome to Distant Date Night. Um, I just put a little a little song on to round up the troops. One second. G'day again. <laughs> it's always a bit jaggy, that introduction, but you know, it has to happen, get everybody in the room. Um, welcome to Distant Date Night, live out of um, um, crackly old Candlo on the south coast of New South Wales. And we have special guests tonight coming to you from Sydney, I think. Ready, spaghetti? <laughs> there you go. Shanley, Dell, and James Gillard. Hey, hello. Hey. Um, Hi. Hi. You look lovely. No, oh, thank you. I put my spotty one on, especially for tonight. Got my winged eyeliner. <laughs> nice. How are you? How are you guys? Where are you? What, where are you coming? You're near Sydney, aren't you? Yeah, we're in Sydney. Yeah, yeah in yeah. the Sutherland Shire, and um, in the studio. This this um studio is uh, under the house where we're living at the moment. Yeah. And it's the house Ooh. belonging to Stewie French and Camille Tanahu. Ah, cool. So we're renting their house. It's got a studio. Nice. So here we are in the studio. Must be heaps of music coming out of there then. <laughs> yeah, um, it's the great. Vibe floor, floorboard vibes. I am. Um, yeah, it's I'm gonna everywhere. play a song just to warm up everybody and then uh, and kind of you know welcome them all in and and I'll and I'll come back and say hello. Again in three cool, minutes. can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play one. Um, I recorded on the New Graces record, and it's called it's called Quiet Town. And I wrote it about um. I just sort of just driving around this valley I live in, and you know, because when I first moved down here, I had a van, and I had the I had my little girls, and uh, so we were just you know a bit bit troubadoury with our, you know mum and the kids in the van driving around the valley trying to find romantic places to 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 lay about and dream and write songs <laughs> cool that's uh, neat see you in, see you in a second <laughs> Oops. all right there's the hair again all right it's called quiet town Children. 
Oh, thank you. We, um, it's a gorgeous album. We, we did we did a sneaky recording of the, that song the other day with um but for for a special project and I had um uh, Heath Cullen and Dave Ross McDonald and Tamlin and uh, um, Pete Wilde all some accordion, some guitar, some some um some drums, um and uh, and yeah, all on anyway, and harmonies on a bridge. So it's secret information, but it looked it was really cool. Ooh. We got the inside goss. When will we get secret. that, Miss? Well, it, that'll be like um, be out next year as part of a a festival. So anyway, more secret information yeah. given out. <laughs> cool. Katie, Katie's tuned in over here. Um, Katie Brianna and Jenny Kane's. Oh, in. Katie. Oh, and, um, <laughs> Phil, there's Phil Watts. G'day. Hello, so everybody. Great start, you wrote, Steve. So everyone can write Yay. comments on the end, and I can share them with them um, on the screen. So, so I got them in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna Guess play? It's our turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do. Um, James will grab a guitar, and um, I'm gonna do a song that we wrote with Kevin Bennett. And um, it's called Long Story Short. How resilient are you feeling? Got Bobby Benton joined in there and said hello as well. Hey, hey Bobby! <laughs> yeah. We tune because we care. <laughs> I say everybody's yeah. missed tuning, right? Everybody misses tuning. They're like, oh, live gigs and tuning. Tell me where I'm going. <laughs> One. Ready to rock? Oh, I'm going, I'm going. One, two, Good three, on four. I like the way you hold my hand. I like the way you understand. I like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got? You've got headphones on, do you? Are oh, you got them? 
You've got headphones? Say yes, dear. I'm not hearing you. You're no. not hearing it. Why aren't you hearing it? Oh, that's better. <laughs> Yay! Oh, there we are. I got carried away and unplugged myself. <laughs> Thank you. Don't unplug yourself. <laughs> I was going to do this thing that I do where I kind of adjust people as we play. If you don't mind, I'm going to just... I'm just going to adjust you a tiny bit and, and ask him if you can, Shanna, can you move a bit forward? Yeah. yeah. I'm a bit quiet. You're a bit quiet, so if I just get you a little bit louder, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could probably both come a bit forward, but, yeah, just come a little bit closer. That's good. He won't. No, you're saying there? <laughs> yeah, I am well. <laughs> yeah. He's from WA. They shout. Yeah, yeah. They're loud because yeah. yeah, no one will hear them otherwise. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> funny because, because you've got the, like, um, because of the way that the camera sets up, sets up it doesn't show, it doesn't look like you're really far apart, but you could be, like, really far apart, but you're both really close together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Anyway. Uh, how how have you been? How about just a, you know, a general g'day and how you going? <laughs> well, we're good. Yep, we're good. Writing um, lots of songs? Oh, no. James is busy being creative. I'm sort of um, working my day job from home mm. and it tends to encroach a little bit on my creative uh, yeah. space. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm not exactly prolific anyway, so. <laughs> I got, I got um, stuck with the, with the weight, like, with, with ideas. I thought, I can't just write waiting song anymore yeah <laughs> so yeah, like, it's a bizarre um, thing and, and they kind of wanted to i kind of had this idea that i and i still never followed it up but i i can still follow up now that the brain's starting to work again of, of just writing <laughs> instrumentals because i thought that would be fun to do mm. um yeah just, you know feeling songs without mm. having to put words to it because words are so annoying <laughs> get someone else to put film to it yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Just little synchronization, little adventures. Oh, there's cool. a few people have tuned in here. Sheila's there. You go. Oh, hello. <laughs> there you go. And um, and uh, Andy said, "Oh my god, that was yummy." He said, hello. <laughs> "Cool." Hello. That's nice. Yeah, nice when you all um, chime in, little tiny things. We like it. It's great. Some some of the comments we might miss. Most of them will show up on on my screen. But um, if we miss anything, we can go and write back to everybody later. Cool. You know, so fancy. Need. So don't yeah. say anything nasty because we'll come and find you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find you later. <laughs> um, yeah. I should I should just play a song, shouldn't I? I I, I um I can get a bit talky, which can be. Um, I showed this, Mel. Yeah, the talky bit or the or the um show business. The, the talky bit. It's, you know, we're on a date. You got to talk. We've got to get to know you better. <laughs> you know what? Imagine if you actually did go on a date. Like, imagine. I mean, I'm a I'm terrible because I write songs about people when, that I'm in love with. And and imagine if I went on a date and all I did was like sit there and sing, <laughs> sing songs at them, and they just had to like respond. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh that'd that's... sort them out, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. But so this is me. I'm just. This is how I come. And yeah. Now you, you tell me about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Mitchell used to do that, right? She she wrote about the relationships she was uh, in. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit useless at that. Believe me. But it's really funny if we're two people and you write it back to each other. Um. Yeah. I'll 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 play a okay, I'll play a little a little tiny love song. Just. Yeah, to go along with that theme. The kind of song I probably would play to someone I just sat down the table with and then they run away. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a second. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my daughter's yelling huh. at me. It's all good. I'll see ya. I'll see you in a second. Um, okay. I'm going to come back to your comment, Kerry. That's a good one. Um, uh, uh, um. Oh, that's... So oh, no. Oh, no. I got confused. <laughs> now I can't remember what song I'm playing. 
Mississippi. I know how it goes. I've got a really, really, really dodgy capo at the moment, so. Come on, capo, you need to behave yourself. When you sit beside me. Yay. It was so lovely. Ah, thank you. Beautiful song. That's... Good for Thanksgiving too. So grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it was really actually I wrote it like in adoration of, of my friends actually, Bill and Jeanette, who I was just adoring them as a couple. I, I thought they were just so beautiful and I loved how they looked after each other. So I that's how that song came about. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do one now that is written observing someone else's relationship too. I know someone who had an affair and it was quite shocking and um, I was trying to make sense of it. Um, yeah. So I, I wrote this song in the first person um, to try and get inside what might have been going on for them because I, yeah, I, yeah. I really needed to understand. So it's called Unfaithful. Hope you can hear us, Sina. As long as you're there, you and I'm here. It's the, going to be no, 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 no. It's not going to be loud enough. Is that loud I'll enough? I'll comment at the end of the song. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you in a second. Okay. I mean, I'll see you now. <laughs> Moment of weakness, say what you will. A few minutes passion melted my chill. Shadows in secret moving in time. But I pictured you when the thrill was sublime. I don't know why I can't keep myself faithful, knowing for you I should. 
truly be grateful but even the times when you told me you cared couldn't make up for the ways you're not there There's no confusion, I will confess I'm facing the anger, you love me less Though I'll be tempted, I won't blame you There's no excuse now, I was untrue I don't know why I can't keep myself faithful Knowing for you I should truly be grateful But even the times when you told me you cared Couldn't make up for the ways you're not there Absence made my heart grow colder now I carry this weight on my shoulders Please forgive me I was lonely I don't know why I can't keep myself faithful Knowing for you I should truly be grateful But even the times when you told me you cared Couldn't make up for the ways you're not there Excuse me, done that for a week. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, he's disappeared. He's left me. It's all right. No, no, no. <laughs> you're not that lucky. No, I'm back. There's no getting rid of me, darling. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> It's funny that um the the slight delay in the, in in appreciation clapping, but you know you know it's there. <laughs> oh, here you go, Thanks. Jenny. Jenny hopped in there. Oh, thanks, Jen. So, but, Gosh. I've, I've got a I've got a mate tuning in. Hello, is it Stuart from from Clonakilty? G'day, Stuart. Oh, that's fun. And uh, Ooh, Ireland. Yeah, there was a um a comment before that I needed to put up that I didn't, that was, um, I think it was to do with the singing at the people for, for a date. I thought that would be new reality fun. TV show. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, That's funny. And, and Claire's joined in as well. G'day Claire. Um, Hello. Yeah. Anyway, just passing them on post, post song. <laughs> Thanks Mel. Thanks Mel. There's a lot a new for one? you to do. Yeah. Um, no, it's not a new one. But I've yeah. never uh, recorded it or anything. An unre sorry, an unrecorded one. Yeah, yeah. Unreleased, yes. Unreleased, yeah. Secret Until information. Never. Yeah, secret. <laughs> more secrets. <laughs> secret squirrel in Morocco Mall. Hello. <laughs> somebody wrote you. A f somebody wrote you a funny comment. There you go. Bobby said, "Beautiful Shanley, James, you need new footwear if your feet are going to be on camera." What? What? What's wrong with your feet? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> He's got socks and jandals. Is that better? I mean, sorry, Bob. Daniel, <laughs> pants on at eleven. Yeah, they've got your trousers say. on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's got his pants on. What more do you want? Come on, hey. So, what are you gonna? Where, where are you gonna take us on our date now? I don't know. It must I be up to the main course. Oh, well, I kind of thought that because you know, I sort of thought um, it's going to be more with the rhythm of, of your song, um, and I was thinking of rolling on from rolling on from there um mm. there's a song i wrote called maybe i will and i wrote it when i was in paris and uh actually i was in this little town called flavigny and it was beautiful summers you know you know it's already already kind of romantic in my mind just because i'm in france and then 
it's just sort of um, it's just a little bit of a you know a sweet sort of summer Parisian dreamy romantic -y kind of song cool <laughs> bring it because that's what you know on the date you know we would we get to the we're at main course, yeah right? yeah okay yeah i don't know if it's really main course it's more like maybe maybe it's a bit more tapas but it's okay oh. <laughs> right <laughs> see you in a second see ya okay Beautiful. That's fantastic. Such a great song. <laughs> it's funny how, like, you know, don't all, not all songs are my songs, you know, not all songs take you back to the spot where you wrote it, but I just particularly remember that day. Um, yeah. It was Sounds like a special one. Yeah, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. And I bought new earrings and I like those earrings. <laughs> you still got them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're pink. <laughs> they got rose quartz in them. <laughs> nice. 
home. That's great. Thank you. Really lovely. Um, we're, well, we're going to take you to another place now, but not as mm -hmm. kind of exotic and romantic as Paris. This is a, a bit song. South of Paris. It, it was country, but it was country. It's like, you know. France then, yeah. Yeah, France. For Wait. us, it's very, pretty fancy, right? <laughs> yeah, you bet. For anyone. We didn't get to go to France, did we? No, I haven't been to France. Oh, so. I'm reading a book about. Italy at the moment, but uh, we can soon, you know, in a little while. Can yeah. we? Yeah. Um, so where is this one set? James wrote this one. Yep. I co-wrote this one. Co-wrote it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with a fellow named Corey Collum from Western Australia. Mm -hmm. And he worked in the, um, he worked in the northwest uh, of Western Australia, um, I think they call it shutdowns. So he'd go and they'd shut down the, the facility where they were digging a mountain up and take it somewhere else and dig another mountain up so they could send it away and turn it into something and get it sold back to Australia. Um, and he came uh, to visit us in, in, in our other house in Sydney. And um, sorry, I'm just got to tune this. And Colin Buchanan came around as well, and we talked about um, about being out in the bush in Western Australia and how hot it was. Sorry. Yeah. You and, got Josh, uh, Dolly and Jimmy joined in there. Dolly, Jimmy, hello. Hey, Dolly. All the way from Ballina. Oh, that's better. Yeah. So, yeah. So we dreamed up this scenario of a guy who's flying in, flying out, and his life's going on without him, but he doesn't realise until it's too late. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to take these off and hope that I can remember all the words. <laughs> it's a bit nerve-wracking. It's a bit like a gig. It's the same level of nerve, nerve factor, yeah. even though he's in his socks. <laughs> At least I took my thongs off. <laughs> Never 
never thought it through that I'd lose you. For a job on the iron plane, it gets hot out here. Western sun, not gonna fade me. Red rock, never gonna break me down. Pin man dust trying to drive me crazy. I'm burning up inside. Sun, it's gonna bake me till I'm burning up inside. It gets hot out here. It's a fade out. Woo! Yeah, good on you. Yay, yeah. <laughs> She's gone. There she is. No, I was, I was, um, uh, the cat decided that it wanted a drink of water at that exact moment. So I've got my, that was awesome. That's cool. Made you hot. I, I was singing along and, you know, hammering along and pouring the cat a cup of tea. <laughs> 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 Multitasking. So yeah. good. Get a clap, clap, clap there from from Dolly and Jimmy. Hi, and Dolly. Yeah, Heather and Jim Bonafond. Okay, I know why your headphones are cutting in and out. Oh, good. <laughs> now you're there, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't miss a trick. Thanks, James. No worries. It's gonna be useful. Very <laughs> useful. Gonna be useful. You get sacked. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's, a, there's a question there for you, James. What is that guitar? This guitar, it's um, uh, it's a, a Blues King Gibson from 1994. So Wait. it's a. There you go, Andy. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the guitar that's here. Yeah. <laughs> It's always good to. I'm I'm happy with the with the guitar that with which, whichever guitar's in front of me, I can go with that. I can roll with that. Hey Mel, what was that? What was that? Was it a, a mandolin you played on your first tune? Yeah, it's a little mandola. Mandola. All right. And cool. Um, what oh, is it? Hang on, this is the thing. Yeah, gotcha. And, this one, and the one I have, like the one I wrote all the songs on, is actually yeah. a different one. It's got a really fat body. It's over there. But um, yeah. this, so I, yes, the one I wrote all the songs on, it's, it's just a, a, like a, a cheap Romanian one that I loved. I loved the sound of it. But um, when I to play with other people, they kind of wanted to kill me because it kept being out of tune. So um, I ended up recently um, getting a hold of this one, which is a um, Peter Coombe. Peter Coombe made it. It's a, and it's got nice. a, a skinnier body than than my other one, but it's still got a nice big gun. Yes, it sounds great. And the, not, the yeah. neck's not particularly long, is it? No, so it's, the whole thing is, you know, probably another, you know, 20 centimetres longer than a mandola, a mand mandolin, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, but I like that. I, I think I must like all the instruments that are that mid-tone, like, um, you know, violas and mandolas and, cellos and um things like that i think that's where i sit and the classical mm. guitar you know how it's like a bit warmer than a bit more midi than yes uh, than and the other one so yes, yes. Mm. how do you Resonate go holding you. I'm, I'm interested in how you go holding the mandola because can you put a strap on it can you put a hoot nanny strap to the headstock or yeah, so that's I the thing the, um, oh, i just put the um you know, the string through, oh, where's the camera? I put the string through the top. Yeah. And then just plug it on the bottom. Yeah. But you, you can actually stand there for a certain amount of time and hold it up. Hold it up, yeah. Uh, but with you, you know, with your elbow. But after a while, it does fall down. Yes. <laughs> Slippery. Like the banjo. The banjo fits just over, um, 
it fit, the, the banjo fits over just the one I've got with the open back just fits over a boob so it doesn't tend to <laughs> <laughs> excellent that's great it's good design this, this date's <laughs> going very well <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy That's replied brilliant. there. He said, "Thanks, good stuff." There you go. Cool. Oh, Brendan's joined in. Brendan. Oh, hi. <laughs> Brendan, my Rocky. computer's my my computer's trying to clean itself. Don't oh, yourself. Brendan Roski. Hey, Brendan. Yep. There you go. Hi, legends. He said. <laughs> All right. Hey, where are you going to take us? Some... Where are we going? Well, I was going to go along with your, uh, your, you know, with the with the co-write kind of um, thing, and I was going to do this one that I wrote with Catherine Britt, um, and we'd we'd written like a whole bunch together. It was when I lived at Annandale, and Gypsy was really tiny, and she kept, uh, I didn't know, you know, Gypsy kept climbing all over Catherine, and um, <laughs> she was so lovely, and didn't kind of tell her to go away. Um, and we wrote a few that ended up on Catherine's records. And then this one, I was sort of, fingers crossed, was hoping that she didn't record because I really wanted to record it. Um, and, and, and she didn't. And so that's why I, I, I think, you know how you, you're writing and sometimes it just sort of suit the different people. And this one, I felt was a bit, it was a bit me. So it's called yeah, I great. Love, cool. love From Love Songs. Cool. Great. Ten seconds. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the right key. <laughs> I learned how to live from Dylan, and that's why I'm so shy. I learned how to love from love songs, but a love song only made me cry. I took all I could from. I don't know how you do that. It's so clever. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Just so sweet. It's funny, we, we, we made a fun film clip for that. It was my my friends came down. Um, they, one, one, so my friend Kia and, and Emma, they, they um, 
filmmakers and photographers and they came down and um, were just hanging out as usual and my daughter Harmony was dragging um, Kia who had the camera around the block and just saying look at this and she played with the doll and then look at this and she she was basically walking him around and directing him yes. just, you know just in a playful way like you're a man you have a camera I want to show you my little acting scenes and stuff <laughs> and uh, um, so he got all this footage of her and it was so beautiful and he said, oh, can you just sit down and sing that, you know, sing a song for a second that might match this? And so I sang that song and uh, he stuck it all together and it was so cool. It was wow. like an, acc an accidental video clip. It wasn't meant to be. It was just, yeah. you, know, the, you know, him hanging out and um, her directing. But um, that's lovely. It, kind of, it accidentally matches. But what's funny is he's a zombie filmmaker. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's, sort of, it's completely different, obviously. Not very zombie. It's a little little girl director <laughs> oh wow that's great is Love that a genre it. is it zombie films you just do nothing but zombie films well like, i don't know if he, he doesn't necessarily just do zombie films it's just that he's he him and his brother made you know one zombie film called wormwood which is filmed in the blue mountains and it was like it took a long time to make because obviously it was like low budget just you know seven yeah. it was seven years or something to like slowly put it together and then it was really amazing it took off and, yeah, I've uh, seen that. Yeah, and then he made it. Yeah. they've made a, one or two more, and uh, Wormwood uh, Two, right? <laughs> Wormwood Two, yeah, yeah. There is a worm. There's a, there might be another one, um, and they've all got very apocalyptic kind of names. And you know, when the apocalypse, when the when when the COVID came, <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, um. That movie just came to mind. It just, you know, it was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we sort of, we don't need dystopian novels anymore because we're living in one. <laughs> and it was funny because, like, you start to think, like, who who do you know that would be quite useful to hang out with in an apocalypse? Like, like um, I remember talking to the girls and said, we, we can go and live in a bush and we can catch fish now. I don't know how to catch fish, but maybe we could hang out with people who knew how to catch fish because... That yeah, would be very useful um, kind of person to hang out with. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think banjo players. Banjo. You, you, banjo yeah, you want to hang out with banjo. Now yeah, you want to play with banjo players because because banjos are very loud, you know. And so yeah, yeah, that yeah. that'll be great, you know, around the fire, you know, running from campfire to campfire. I'll share my berries, and my friend will play the banjo. <laughs> will you offer me shelter for the night? Yes, come in, my friend. Yes, brother. Yes, sister. <laughs> Sit by our fire. The zombies shall not take you. <laughs> They'll go, no, oh. banjo sounds. We can't take it. And then That's right. Keeps the zombies yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we're going to do another one. Yep. No, we aren't, are we? Are we? Yes, we are. You've got time? <laughs> yeah. you got two more. I Good. Think. It's yeah, a, I this, one. this Shanley co-wrote this one. Yeah. Because yeah. cool. if, if we don't play this song... The zombies will come. I think you know this one, Mel. If you know this, sing along. We'll see you in a while. <laughs> There's a backstory, but probably all the people listening have already heard it. Oh, you can, you can, you can, you can do the backstory for for the other crew. <laughs> um, well, James was took four years into our relationship before he said, "I love you." It wasn't that long, was it? it was four years don't worry i was counting <laughs> yeah so i thought i'd just try reverse psychology and write this song with a friend called chuck jones at one of those mushroom writers workshops at um, mount macedon mm -hmm. oh, cool. um it belonged to um michael what's his name Michael Gadinsky. Michael Gadinsky. Just I go blank because I'm nervous. Michael Gadinsky's house in Mount Macedon, and all these great writers got together, and I met Chuck Jones, not the cartoonist, wonderful gentleman from Nashville. We wrote this. Are you ready? Oh yeah. I'll take one. Take one of these out. Take at least one of them out. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a feeling here that's too strong to deny. My 
But you're so afraid to say it Cause you've heard it all before and so have I I'm not gonna hold you to a promise you can't keep You gotta look before you leap and that's alright Just take your own sweet time I've waited so long to find Somebody like you Forever true, believe me, I don't mind I can hold on, just take your own sweet time When I feel your arms around me, my whole world comes to a stop Time stands still I was lost until you found me I have needed you so long and always will And if it takes forever That's the choice I make I've got what it takes to wait until You take your own sweet time I've waited so long to Somebody like you, forever true, believe me, I don't mind, I can hold on, just take your own just sweet, take your time. Own sweet time. waited so long to find. Somebody like you, forever true, believe me, I don't mind, I can hold on, just take your own sweet time. I can hold on, you take your own sweet time. I like to press that song on repeat for like hours on end. <laughs> Good on you. I drove to Bega and back. I'm like, repeat, repeat, repeat. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> That's funny. It's funny that, that, that it's so beautiful and, you know, it, everyone, there you go, you got your um, chimed in there. So, oh, thanks, Sheila. Yay. He, he did eventually say, yeah, I'm glad Yeah, of course. To. Now it's a thousand years later and he's wearing his <laughs> socks. <laughs> I am. Um, I was thinking, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't think of what, what to play after that one. But um, I think I've got one. I think I've got one to, yeah. to follow the, in the mood of it. After. Great. Oh, there you go. John said, John Wilby said, true love is worth waiting for. Ah. Beautiful. So I am, I am trying to... I'm, <laughs> Pro profound what are you thinking of what do you got you, sh you should play a zombie song now i know that's that's what I, I was actually kind of going do i go completely left or um or uh you use yes. <laughs> this andy fran. trying thank you yeah. sorry fran <laughs> i haven't got any zombie songs though oh just, come on I, I did have a pile of like um of punk songs um because I you know um I remember going down to Melbourne and having a, a what do you call it like a you know an accidental uh, where you know you put yourself out of place because you've done something a bit stupid for, or for the heart and then um oh no don't sleep sleep computer and uh, 
so the day after I was silly enough to sort of chase this thing and it didn't work, I um I went down and saw um Sarah Oh no, Sarah Carroll, Sarah Carroll. And uh stayed with, and she she rescued me and and um stayed with her family and and got to borrow the bass and and the, all the instruments in the house and it was pretty cool. But the first day I spent just writing punk songs. <laughs> How did I know you were playing bass in this band? No, it's based by myself. I was playing just bass and uh, um, making up punk songs on bass because they seem it just seemed to come out. Yeah, you, yeah. You, I just want you to be the punk, the bass player in a punk band. That makes perfect sense. I was going to say that before you said that. Oh, you wear you a go. spotty dress and you play the bass in a punk band. <laughs> <laughs> it makes, and I know the bass you need to play. It's over oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You, you need something like this, right? You can borrow it. It's a silver one. It's it's small. It's oh, cheap and yes. cheerful. But it's silver yeah. and it's short scale and it's sort of, you know. It's a girly bass. It's good fun. <laughs> that would be heaps of fun. I would definitely play. I would like to invent a bass, a bass punk, a solo bass punk band with that instrument. <laughs> You, you could do it, you know. You just sit there like you see, you know. You know. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I digress. No, Boy. I agree. I agree with you. And I could get right. Tipsy, my daughter. She could play the drums on it. You know, that would be fun. And and um, yeah, and and teach and teach harmony on 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 electric guitars. Just you know, a couple of chunky guitar. Yeah, we don't need line. much. Horse and family it's... punk band. Yeah, perfect. I love it. I'll think of a name. We've oh, yeah, got yeah, one, but no. it doesn't. It's not very family friendly. Remember? No. <laughs> you have to tell me now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we talked about years ago. We were going to form a punk band with oh, with my son with Max, Max. Um, when oh, Max was still Max. living at home, and we were going to call it Cousin Shit, <laughs> which was like the perfect name for a Instead punk band, right? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. The idea was good, but we never got around to doing it. We were busy at the time. Yeah, we changed the name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, so Sorry. am I turning left? Am I going like, am I rolling along or am I going to do? I'll just roll along. I'll roll along. Just got go anywhere you like. Go, I'm going to go into, I have to detune. No, no, I'm going to, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too, not brave enough to do the, the the one sort of punk, the punkish one that I've got. Okay, next time. Next time, yeah. It was about Princess Mary. Fantastic. It was, but I'll do this one just to to roll with some. Rhymes with dairy. Princess. <laughs> but all my punk songs had VB in them. Oh, excellent work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I'm going to play. Um... Oh, hang on. Oh, what's going on? Hang on. Oh, no. Sorry. I detuned when it wasn't supposed to be detuned. You can tell a joke if you've got one. Um, oh. My jokes are pretty rude. <laughs> <laughs> If Shirley tells a joke, we'll be thrown off the internet. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, What's brown and sticky? <laughs> a stick. Correct. And with that, <laughs> we'll see you after the end of this song, right? All right, see you at the end of the song. Gold. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Going a lot, rolling along with. Love lovers and all that. This is called Lovers Home. Um.
Really good. That's fantastic. Ah, thank you. Wow. Um, so What's that called? Lover's Home. And is it recorded yet, Mel? Yeah, it, I recorded it. Um, it's on my last record, Trevor Ritz. Writing it down. One as well, but, but yeah, cool. Beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, that's yeah, really like, cool. Okay, I'll give up. No, that's great. <laughs> that, that, I love, I'm quitting music now. I love no, I love I love that I love playing that um that that ringy mm. guitar line. But you know, it, um, I, you know, like what you're saying, James. Because I, for everyone, I was I'm trying to learn I'm trying to learn your song, and uh, <laughs> what we're talking about about leaving the ringing the le yeah. One string to ring out. Yes, um, yes. That, that, that's the thing that Rod McCormack showed, told me, and we talked about that, didn't we, No, That's true. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because I didn't it, – it's funny because, like, that song I wrote a while ago. Yeah. And now, since that conversation, I keep thinking about that and keep trying to think about um, when you're writing a song, letting a string um, hang on. Mm. A bit like, yeah, like a little droney thing. And that's what's so cool about that little fella – about him because he just has that drone all the time yeah that's yeah. right that's what's so cool about the mandol isn't it i love that yeah. the melody there's that melody thing in that song that really just i heard was like a, a flash to nick drake and that's the coolest thing in the world right ah oh, yeah cool that okay, was cool i'll take that <laughs> yeah oh you bet where, where it goes to the b flat and the and the and the and there's that the same melody over the b flat yes hello bang oh, cool. spectacular you win no. <laughs> yeah, you bet. That's great. Yeah, but... like a... Remember the other day, there was someone was saying like, on oh, no, it was on radio. It was like I'd had to do this little interview because I'm going to play a gig next week in um Candlo at Candlo a gig. Hall. What's that? An actual, I know, like an actual one. Like, I mean, this is a gig too, but yeah, like but... There, there, there'll be people um, wow. in the room with me. <laughs> but so you know, I did like the little radio interview promo thing on the local ABC station, and he said. He kind of caught me by surprise, saying, "So, do you want to do a songwriter off? We could do like a like a, a an on on air on air songwriter off challenge." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, it's a can... competition. No, no, no. And I was like, it would be kind of funny. Like, it would be quite entertaining. But you could just do this thing where you could give somebody, you know, two core theme five minutes, and make those five songwriters go off. And then play back live on air. <laughs> wow. Challenge. Yeah, that's a challenge, eh? You could do it. You could do that. 
the musical Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> But and, you, could, uh, you could write anything about anything. It'd just be funny because you could write about your your breakfast or something. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, we've got one <laughs> more song from you guys. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, so here's, this is a song that we wrote to order for some friends of ours in Western Australia. Um, I, I, sent, I sent Shirley a text message because I was listening to their band and I thought, oh, they do that well. They played a country version of I'm on Fire, right, by, by Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, you know, just yeah. goes popa chicka popa chicka, right? And you sing the song. And I thought, oh, he sounds good in that key. I'll just write a song like that. So I said to Shanley, can you write some words for I'm on fire? And she thought I was joking, just banged down something. Anyway, you know, one thing led to a mother and, and we got a song out of it. And it's good fun, actually. So, oh, so awesome. we'll do it for you. Yeah. Now, yeah, cool. you'll, you'll be able to hear I'm on fire, but I won't tell you the other thing that we stuck in there as well. We're back in, we're, we're back in West Australia. Of course we are where the sun sinks into the water, to the ocean, and we're on an environmental uh, soap pathway. Box. Good yeah, on us. Soapbox. <laughs> okay, cool. See you in a while. See you in a while. Like we're in unison and then it just goes and it splits into the harmonies. <laughs> it sounds mad. It sounds so good here. 
um, good on you. Thanks. We like yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah. Just like you, just like yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I think because we've been together so long, sometimes when we sing in unison, we sound like the same person if we really try. Mm. And then it sort of d makes it go a bit cross-eyed when we split off into, yeah, yeah, <laughs> into yeah, a harmony. Yeah. It's like, who yeah, did like that? A, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. me. Yeah, it's like, it just, yeah, anyway, it's been, yeah, nice and, it's like, it's like, um, yeah. When someone's playing the cello or something, then they play the double strings. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> this yes. Is, yeah. But yeah, it gets all gorgeous. All right. Uh, thank you. I'm going to. Um, thank you. We're going to. We, we're going to say good night. But I'll still. I'll. Put, I'll end the broadcast. But I can still say. I can still say good night to you after I click on it. But we can. Hey, thanks for having us, Dale. Say no Hi, worries. Thanks, thanks, everybody. Thanks so much. Thanks, crew. Whoever you are. Thanks, John. This. I'm just. I'll get um. Oh, oh, there's a few. There'll be a few clappers on there who say good night. Lots of you. Lots thanks of love, everybody. everybody. Yeah, thanks a lot for being everybody. Thank you, Kerry. And we'll see we'll you again back to you if we can. See you. Bye. Bye.